Welcome, I'm Candace Tope Phillips, a trainer and curriculum development specialist at the Administrative Office of the Courts. Today, we are gonna look at Microsoft Teams. I'm going to be going over how to enter into a hearing, basic understanding, and features that you may use inside of Teams. Let's begin on how you can join a Microsoft Teams hearing. You've probably received a link or a phone number to join the remote court hearing. There are several ways in which you in which you can enter into the session. I'm showing the example today is a calendar invite, but all the information is the same whether you receive it through an email or calendar invite. So you have two ways of joining the options inside of Teams. First of all is the link. This link will open up the application and I'll show you in just a second if you would like to download the free version of Microsoft Teams. This can be joined from a computer, desktop or laptop, iPad or smartphone. Next, if you would like to, you can join in by telephone. Again, that is audio only. Simply by dialing the number below, it will ask for a conference code and you will type in the following conference code. When you come into the session, again, we like to call this a telephonic participant as you are hearing and speaking through the telephone. Now, by calling into the session, you must remember you will be speaking and listening through phone. You will not be able to see any of the participants inside of the hearing. Also, the phone number you are calling from is visible for all participants. Telephone numbers, meaning you're calling into the session, will be visible and cannot be renamed or changed. So let's talk about using the application. So if you simply click on the link, the next box that appears is how to get and how you would like to join the session. The very first one is download the Windows application. Microsoft Teams does offer a free version. When you simply click on this, you will go into sign up for free and simply type in an email address and password to complete and download the application. You can also do this through your cell phone by going into your app store or your Android store to download the free version of Microsoft Teams inside of your smartphone. If you would not like to download the application, you can continue what we can we call continue on a web browser. You are not downloading or installing the application itself. Instead, you are participating on the web and using the free version of the application. So again, you have two choices to download the application for free or again continue on the web browser or you can download the application on your smartphone. If you already have Teams app downloaded, you can simply push open on your Teams application. You may get another notification to open Microsoft Teams. Again, let's discuss using the application and entering and basics on the toolbar. Once you've clicked on the link to enter in, you will see the following preview screen. This is giving you a preview of how you will enter into the session. If you have a device that has a camera, you can see you can toggle on or off on your camera. You can also place yourself on mute or unmute by toggling by the microphone. If you are entering in the hearing and the hearing is already started, the system will notify you, notify you down below that there's already participants and the system will place you on mute. It's so that you will be muted when coming into the session. Once ready, press join now. If the lobby feature is turned on, you may have to wait to be admitted. In the session, if everybody's, uh, everybody's camera is turned on, you will see what we call gallery boxes. The Teams only shows a three by three, so you can see nine people at once and you will see yourself at the bottom if your camera is turned on. If not, you will see what looks like a profile picture at the very top of the gallery box. If you have more than nine people inside, there'll be a bar down at the bottom and you'll see the, the profile pictures down at the bottom. As people talk, it does highlight what they are talking on and it also moves people around. So if you have more than nine people, your screen will move based on who's talking and who is not. You can pin participants to your screen. This allows the participant to stay on your screen whether they are talking or not. 
Again, this is for your screen only. It does not affect anyone else in the session. To do this, place the, press the participant on your participant bar. This will open up all the participants in the session on your right hand side of your screen. Simply hover over the participant who you wish to pin, click on the more options three dots beside their name and press pin. Again, this will let, allow that gallery box to stay on your screen whether that participant is talking or not. Now let's discuss the toolbar and some information you may need to know while in the session. First again is the participants. It's going to show all the participants in the session. To close this out on the right hand side, simply press the X. Next is the chat. This is for written communication. It can be seen by everyone who is using the application. You can type in simply using the box below. If you would like to format, simply click the formatting T. It is just like Word where you can bold, italicize, underline, and even have more options below by bulleting number or inserting a table. You can also add an attachment by pressing the attach files. This could be a document or picture that goes inside the chat. Again, everyone in the session can see this and can view any documents or pictures that are attached inside the chat. To close out the chat, simply press the X box above. Next is your camera feature. If your device has a camera, you can again turn on or off your camera by simply pushing the camera button. Microphone is next, and again, to mute or unmute yourself, simply press the microphone button. Again, for the camera and the microphone, if there's a strike through through it, means it is not in use. Again, if there's not a strike through, means they are in use. The computer with the arrow is for sharing your screen. If you need to share your screen, press the computer key, and then you can select desktop or window. It will show all of your device and anywhere you go. Window will show only the application that you have pulled up. It will only show this window and not the whole screen on your device. To share your screen, you will be using, you will have to be using the application, be able to be a telephonic participant. If you're using a video or anything with sound, you will have to select computer audio and toggle it on so this will produce the audio out to all devices on the screens. When you are sharing your screen, you will notice a red outline around what you are sharing. This is what is projecting out to everyone in the session. If you are using desktop, you'll see it around your complete screen. If you are using window, you will see the red box around the window of what is being projected. When you are finished and ready to stop presenting, simply click on the toolbar above, stop presenting. This toolbar does hide at the top and to simply pin it so that it remains there, press the push pin beside it or wiggle and hover around the top of your screen for the toolbar to come down. And last but not least, when you are finished with your session, simply press the leave button at the top hand right hand corner to leave the session. Again, we looked at Microsoft Teams, how to enter into a session, either downloading the desktop feature, using the web browser, downloading to a smartphone, or calling into the session. We've went over the basic understanding and some features on your toolbar that you may use while inside Microsoft Teams. Thank you for your time and attention.